How's it going everyone, Tyson Gaming here, and welcome back to my Pokemon White 2 Randomized Nuzlocke. We're still in the middle of making our way towards Opposite City and the 7th Gym, so in the meantime, I plan to do as much training as possible just so I can get my levels up, because we still are incredibly underleveled for the next gym. I, though I do plan to take it on next episode, today is just going to be obviously get to Opposite City and just start getting ready for it. If you guys like what you see in today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below your thoughts on the reveal trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Because obviously we finally got more gameplay, we got more information, we got a few new Pokemon, and we got to see that the legendaries are indeed motorcycles. And I'm okay with that. With all that said, let's get into it. Yeah, obviously on Wednesday, if you haven't seen it, they revealed... An actual trailer for Pokemon Legends, not Pokemon Legends, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet showing up. A new Pokemon named Fido, which is obviously amazing because it's literally a dog made out of dough. And obviously, they're getting very creative with the names. But the most important thing they saw, they showed off is that the legendaries do turn into motorcycles that you can use during your journey. And obviously, for me, someone who's a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D, I'm a big fan of this, and I cannot wait to try to do through that. I mean, it really does suck that we still have to wait another two months until the game released. Like, I really want to play this game now. Like, it'd be just so cool to be able to go and do that. Oh yeah, this is more lore about Kiram, which again, also comment down, comment down below if you made it this far in your video, if you would like a Pokemon Legends Kiram where we get to see basically all the stuff that she's talking about and then obviously get to see the original dragon because obviously Kiram, Zekrom, and Reshiram were all just one dragon at one point point. it'd be really cool to finally see it here, fell from the sky, yep 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 but yeah, obviously again super excited for Scarlet and Violet and honestly it's the only Pokemon games I'm probably going to get both versions of because in the past, I've only got either one or the other, but this one, I'm definitely getting both, just so I can play through it twice. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a fun game when it, when it comes out. I really feel like it, like... Pokemon and Scarlet and Violet is gonna be, like, the next, like, big game in Pokemon. Because obviously, right now, the number one Pokemon game out there is Legends Arceus. And I do feel that Scarlet and Violet will definitely give them a run for their money. Yes, I know about the start of Rush Ram, because obviously I have Rush Ram, I have blue eyes. Yep, the meteorite again. Just gonna want to kind of skip through all of this dialogue, just like so kind of focus more on my thoughts on the uh, trailer that they showed on Wednesday. Yep, go see Drayden, so we can go take on the seventh gym. Alrighty, finally get to go free- oh wait, we don't have a rival battle here, do we? It ha no, we take on Team Plasma here, that's right. No, Goku's just there to kind of say, hey, how you doing, man? But anyways, now that that's over with, yeah, I'm really excited for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I, r I really do hope they have another trailer to kind of show it off. Because obviously in the trailer they also showed off the new gimmick, so I can't really say it very well. Let me pull up the word through real quick. Yep, 
Yeah, one of the one of the obvious other things they showed up in the trailer is that obviously we're getting a few new regional forms. Even though the only one they showed up was Wooper covered in mud, who apparently now is a ground and poison type Pokemon, which is obviously a kind of cool typing because we, we never had that before, really. Like obviously we had Nido King and Nido Queen, but we really haven't had one since then. So it's gonna be really cool to see more typings like that. Or maybe using poison and water. Either way, I'm here for it. Uh, obviously another thing is they showed off the Regents gimmick, which is basically giving the Pokemon like quote unquote crystal powers and it powers them up, which is from what I understand. Also gives them a new typing, so Pikachu can have one where he gets his balloons like he did back in Pokemon Yellow and becomes a part flying type for a short period of time. Or however long it lasts. Again, we don't really know what all it does, all we know is that it gives the Pokemon a brand new typing gives him a new move, and that's pretty much it. We don't know how much much of a boost it gives them, or how long it lasts. Is it indefinitely until the battle's over, like Mega Evolution? Does it last only three turns, like Dynamax does? Or is it a one-turn thing, like uh, the Z-Move? We don't know anything, because obviously we haven't talked too much about it. Which is kind of why I feel like we do need at least one more trailer before the game's released. One to obviously hype us up again, and two kind of explain more about their uh, crystal gimmick. I forget off the top of my head what it is called, but it's basically just giving Pokemon crystal powers. Also, I'm going to say it now, if Crystal Onyx isn't in the game, or at the very least referenced in the game, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be very upset if Crystal Onyx is not referenced at the very least in this game. But anyways, enough rambling about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, even though I can go for hours because I want to play the game. Hello Goku, how are you doing buddy? Team Plasma. Yep, and then they disappear, just like that. <sighs> Alright, what do you, I wonder what do you guys have for me, because this will be a multi-battle, right? Yeah, because it'll be me and Goku versus them. You're about to feel my rage. Yep, it's not it's not unleashing his rage like he did back in the boat, but you know it's still a good quote. Blissey and a Genesect. Okay, and who do I have up from? I have blue eyes, all right. All right, cool, cool, cool. I do have blue eyes. Alright, so obviously Blue Eyes can easily one-shot Genesect with a Flamethrower. Slash, it's fine, that's all beyond me. Ooh, it did get the crit though, so I gotta be kinda careful, but luckily Flamethrower will be more than enough to take out the Genesect. Since it is quad weak to that. Alright, what else you got for me? 39, nice. We'll level up the Blue Eyes, which is good. good. Sing, thankfully we miss. We also miss his Stone Edge. Good job, Goku. And now we have a Bufalon. Um, all we can really do right now is go for Flamethrower and hope we get a burn. I don't think Bufalon can do too, too much to us, but it's definitely going to be... And Blue Eyes is now asleep. Yay! But that stone edge should be more than enough to pick out the Lissy since it is a glass cannon. Well, it's not even a cannon, it's just basically glass. Especially for any physical items that might be encountered by. Revenge. Oh, there goes... Actually, no, he's fine. I was about to say, there goes Goku Sudowoodo, but that thing actually, I forget. I always forget that Sudowoodo is quite tanky. Alright, next up is a Gothitelle. Uh, let's see here, Blue Eyes is asleep. Um, my best bet is to kind of go for Matang. Obviously because Matang can resist both their stab moves. Mega Horn. Okay, so it has something I can hit. I have a tang. 
Alright, Goku, I'm kinda countering. Ooh, counter, that's gonna hit hard. Does it it doesn't pick up the move form? Um I don't think bullet punch does enough damage to take out Blue Form, so I have to go for Zen Headbutt. Megahorn, I guess he's going for me now. Yep, so this will be neutral. But I am ooh, that hurt that kinda hurts. Alright, there goes. Sudowoodo, finally. Fortunately. Put in a lot of work though. But I think my Zen Headbutt should Okay. It's not enough. And now he has a superior. He actually has a Pokemon he should have right now. Nice. But Buffalo should be low enough for a ball punch to take him out. Yep, alright, cool. That's really weird that one of Goku's Pokemon gets randomized to technically something he should have right now. That's really cool, actually. So wait, did that mean he's gonna have a superior for next time we battle? I really hope not. I don't wanna deal with that. Even though I can easily take it out with uh Infernape and Blue Eyes. Alright, pursuit. Have a on superior, good call Goku, good call, because we definitely need that thing. The ladder, okay, nice. Honestly, if uh if a tank doesn't tank, obviously the tank's not taking out Goth Tell. But it should weaken it a good amount for where Superior should be able to take it out. I'm gonna actually swip, swap in Hakai just so I can get the amulet point boost for some money. I think that'd be kind of smart just to kind of build up my money again. Maybe because I remember he serves. I oh, I think I am low on hyper potions, but this should easily take it out, and now we get amulet point boost. Okay, high levels up, which is also fantastic. Rain Dance. Um, not gonna learn that. Just because while it would help Akai, it would definitely hinder Blue Eyes and. And obviously, uh, Gross. 18,000. Nice. Well, he, he reminds us of the trainer two years ago. Obviously, I said this towards the beginning of the series. It does really suck that in Pokemon White and Black 2 that we never run into the original protagonist from Black and White. Like, he and she gets referenced so much, it really does suck that we never see him. Or at the very least, have like a secret battle against him like we did with Red and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Let me heal up real quick, and we will continue onwards. Alrighty, now that we're all healed up, let me quickly buy some more Hyper Potions before I forget, because if I remember correctly, we are a little low. We do have 12, but I, obviously, in any Nuzlocke, like, you always want to be super stocked up on the best healing item you can potentially get. That's because obviously you might eventually have to get to a stall fest. Um, I will buy a few more Ultra Balls since we do have uh, at least two regular encounters. Actually, we have three more encounters before the gym, one of which is Verizion. I'll consider catching it, but I'm not sure if Verizion will be randomized or not. Just because obviously Gobelion wasn't. Alright, Route 12. What am I gonna get? New encounter. It's actually one of the Swords of Justice. Speaking of Verizion, hello. This is okay. Okay, hi Verizion. Hi, we were just talking. You also have Drizzle, really? That is really weird. Did. Did all of your abilities get randomized to Drizzle? That is really... Okay, that is really strange. Um... Okay. We were just talking about you, okay. So I'm definitely gonna try and catch you, just because obviously you are a legendary. Uh, realistically, the only thing I can really do is continue to go for Dragon Breath and pray I get a pair of paralysis.
Again, the only problem is you do have Drizzle, so I don't think you'll be entirely useful for the team. Like, again, it's still a pretty good ability for you to have, just because you are weak to fire. But since my team primarily consists of fire types, two of which are obviously really good, in the form of Blue Eyes and Infernape, I don't think I'll use you at all. Like, but obviously at the same time, I'm still gonna catch it, just in case something was to happen to... I don't like, in case something was to happen to Blue Eyes or Rose, then I'd probably bring on Verizian and kind of fill in their spot. But at the same time, because of its ability, I don't think I'm gonna go gung-ho for it. Like, I'm definitely not wasting the Master Ball on this. And I definitely do not want to waste all my Ultra Balls on it, because I do still have two other encounters I can get. But, it's still a little weird that it just showed up and said, Hey, I heard you were talking about me. But, uh, okay. Interesting. Rizion, will you please get in the ball and stay? One, two, three, click. Really? Oh, that's right, when we do get to Opus City, we'll get access to the mall area there so I can buy more quick balls. Yes, and which is good, because I desperately need them. Alright, come on. One. Um, is there any way I can get you into the red? Uh, I don't think you have more than 40 HP at this point, so I can't really use, uh, Dragon Breath. Not Dragon Breath, uh, yeah, yeah, no, Dragon Rage. Oh, you have takedown, that's perfect actually. You'll you'll eventually get yourself down in the red, so I can't hit you anymore. Okay. Uh okay then. So I just gotta just continuously just chuck that balls at you. Yeah, that's fine. Um I was done with this, I guess. The magic leaf. The only thing I could do right now to potentially weaken it is Ancient Power. Because obviously Rock is not very effective against fighting. But I'm not sure how well it would take it, especially since it's at that low of health now. And it would be from Blue Eyes' special attack. One. Yo, Verizion, can you go for takedown again and get yourself in the red for me? That'd be fantastic. I would really, really appreciate it. But again, I'm not going to waste a Master Ball on you. I do believe I can find a better Legendary than this. Not saying the Sword of Justice are bad or anything, but... Obviously, based on all the other stuff I could potentially get in here, it's definitely not worth it to waste a Master Ball. Just because obviously I could easily run into one of the Gen 4 legendaries, which obviously them, I'm easily master balling. Unless it's the Lake Guardians, then I'm not doing that. Come on, Brizion, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. One. Okay, um. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try and go for Ancient Power. Just because I need it in the red to give me at least some kind of chance to catch this thing. Alright, you either live this or. Okay, you're in the red now. You're in the red, paralyzed, and I have so many Ultra Balls. 
Obviously, I'm not going to waste them all. How many, do I, how, how many do I have right now? I'm going to go until I'm at 25, and then I'm saying, and then I'm just cutting it off. Because, again, Ruzion, a decent Pokemon, but not, not something to go all out for. So, Frizion, if you want to join the team, if it since we were talking about you, then I would get into this Ultra Ball right here. Get in the ball. Please get in the ball. Okay, then. Pokeball, and then I'm calling it. This is the last one. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay, Frizion. Okay, really does not want to be a part of the team. You know what? That is... 100% fine, honestly. That is fine. That's fine by me. Alright, bye, Frizion. Nice seeing you. I mean, if I really want Brizion, I have another chance anyways to get the static one. Yeah, no, that was really weird. What else could I, could I have gotten? A Weezing. Okay, so glad that was that, my encounter. And Weezing is definitely not bad. Oh, wait. You have explosion, don't you? Yeah, that thing definitely had explosion at that level. That would have been a no from me, Chief. Do not want to mess with that. Alright, let's heal up one more time and then we'll head over to the Village Bridge, which is up next. Oh, I, I remember now, because Village Bridge is where we fight the guy who's trying to go for his 1,000th win. 1,000th? Yeah, for his 1,000th win. Alright, so let's head over there, take him on, and just make our way more towards Opus and say, but dang, that would have been a really good encounter, honestly. Like, it's cool we're getting, a, we got the, finally got another legendary encounter, because the only other legendary encounter we've gotten so far was, yeah, Kiram back in the, uh, Castelia Sewers. Clan Pearl, which would have been okay. But again, none of these Pokemon are ones I would have desperately gone after. Ooh, there's an item there. What do we got here? Power Lens, which doesn't do much. I mean, increases special attack with uh, leveling up. But nothing, you know, good. Anywho, now it's time to really go for my favorite area in all the Vunabon. Like, my favorite cities are technically Nimbasa and Castilia, but just the overall vibe of this area. Like, if I was to pick any place in Unova, I would live here at the Village Bridge. Speaking of which, hello, old sir. Yes, you're trying to get your 1,000th win. Unfortunately, I will break your streak just like we did back in Pokemon Black and White. And we got we got Keldeo. Interesting. Hello, Keldeo. How are you doing? Um, let's see here. Actually, Matang, you're actually perfect for this. Yeah, you can hit me with water type moves, but I don't know what you'll have for that. Sacred Sword. This hits specially. It actually does quite a bit. Zen Headbutt. How much is this doing? Not enough. Okay. Uh. Gotta go back to Blue Eyes. <laughs> oh, Matang, you need to. You need to evolve soon, my boy. Okay, Aqua Tail, which. 
shouldn't do too much to blue eyes since I am quite bulky. Yeah, it's not gonna question me. Yeah, no, I need... Matang, you definitely need to evolve into Magros pretty soon, bud. Unfortunately, you're still eight levels away from that. But luckily, with your lucky egg plus this uh, battle with Keldio, you should be pretty close. Aqua Tail again, which we should live. Yep, alright, cool. Dragon Breath. That goes down Keldio. Thirty-eight, seven more levels, and then we'll finally have my Metagross. And then the team will be complete for now. Next up is Sand Slash. Um, uh, I'm obviously gonna go into Kai for that. Alright, let's see what we got here. Go for Aqua Tail. And he goes for Swords Dance. Man, he really wants his 1000th win. He's setting up on me. Luckily, we do connect, though. Uh, I don't think this will one shot because of the level difference, but yeah, I'll do a lot. General Ball. It's not going to do much of anything since we are water. Who is a crit, though? Oh, that was a crit at plus two. Luckily, Surf takes out Sand Slash. See you later, Sand Slash, and yeah. 17,000, thank you, Amulet Coin. Two years ago, so yeah, he's another reference to black and white. Again, like I said, I said earlier, I really do wish there was like, we got a chance to battle the previous protagonist. Alrighty, let's see here, we're at about 26 minutes. So I think I'll head over to the next route and see if I can get another encounter. I don't want to do the Verizion encounter right now just because I don't think it's randomized. I don't think the randomizer properly works with quote unquote story mode legendaries. But yeah. I'll definitely check it next episode, but for now I just really want to get Wait, this is where we get the Verizion encounter, right? Where is he? Oh, there- oh, there Verizion is. Okay, it should do a cry. Okay, it's still Verizion, so it didn't get randomized. Alright, anyways, let's get our next encounter. Come on, something good. Oh, hi, Raikou! Hi! Okay, um... Wait, does Raikou know, know Roar? Obviously, Raikou and NT are famous for having Roar and Parkle and Soul Silver. But does he have it now? Raikou. Gen 5. Learn set. Because if he does have Roar right now, I'll have to use the Master Ball. Yeah, I. I level up. Uh, let's see here. He might not have it. No wait, no, he's gonna have it. He's gonna have Roar. Oh god. Okay, I need I have to make a decision here. Obviously Raikou is no box art legendary. But one of my weaknesses is definitely water. I don't have a Pokemon that can deal with water type Pokemon. It's obviously it's neutral against Blue Eyes and Volo. Super effective against Rose. Matang is obviously Matang right now. And then there's Drapion, so this might be where I use my my Master Ball. Again, Raikou, definitely not any like Mega Box Art Legendary, like it's not a Kyogre, it's not a Rayquaza, but this might be Master Ball worthy. Actually, let me look at the Learn Set here again. Okay, so he does get an actual good move for him pretty quickly. 
Alright, um... Do I use the Master Ball? Because obviously, according to Wikipedia here, he should have Roar right now. So, uh, obviously I can't go for normal catching methods. So I need to make my decision. Because the thing is, this right now is the only guaranteed Master Ball I get in the game. I could potentially find another one. But at the same time, if I don't use it now, I won't get the Raikou, and I could potentially find another Legendary elsewhere. You know... Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use the Master Ball. I mean, again, Raikou, not a bunch of Legendary, but he is very solid. Like, once I get him Thunderbolt and whatnot, he'll be really good. Now to mention, again, like I mentioned earlier, Water-type is a big weakness for my team. Like, obviously, okay, let me go back to my team real quick. Like, obviously, it's not a huge, huge weakness, but I mean, technically, half my team here is weak to water. So, this, it'd be very foolish of me not to catch this. So, I will use the Master Ball. If I find a Rayquaza as my next encounter, I will cry. But I feel like this is the smart move. I'm also going to cry if I go and find out he doesn't have War, or if he has, like, True Want as his ability, but hey, we got Raikou. We got Raikou. Uh, what am I going to call Raikou? What am I gonna call you, Raikou? Uh, I kinda wanna call you Rengoku, but obviously I can't do that because you have nothing to do with fire. Um, I'm just gonna name you Thunder. Yeah, I'm gonna name you Thunder in, in honor and an honor and homage to the Thundercats. There we go, that's a good, good encounter actually. Kinda does suck I don't have a Master Ball anymore, just in case I find something else, but I do feel like we will find another one. But luckily, we're finally in Opelucid City. Oh, hi Iris, how you doing? Yeah, go to Route 9, just because obviously in Route 9 we have the department stores, so I can finally go get other Pokeballs, and we can also get TMs. So I'm really, really hoping we can find a TM for Thunder. But first things first, obviously you gotta go take a look at my, uh, my team. Please have a... Okay, we go, go over here, bring this up. Okay, Raikou, what would be the best ability for Raikou? Obviously something like huge power would be broken, but... Honestly, I'm really hoping for a Levitate. What do you got? Static. Okay. And he does have Roar. Up at attack, down in defense. Not the greatest, but does mean he'll be useful with Spark. And since he has Reflect, it kind of makes up for his defense. Honestly, this is probably a pretty good Master Ball use. It is, it is funny that he does have Static. So basically, Raikou here is basically a Pikachu. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Obviously, you are coming onto the team. And while it does suck, because I really like using him, I feel like I have to replace Dra uh, Drapion with Thunder. This is obviously there's nothing, no one else I can really replace him with. Obviously, I need Hakai. I definitely need my Matang, who will be a Metagross next episode. Getting rid of Volo or Rose would be foolish, and there's no way in heck I'm getting rid of Blue Eyes. So, Drapion, fortunately, you will be benched for the time being. Obviously, something happens, I will come back and get you, but for now, Thunder, welcome to the team. Alright. And with all that, that will do it for today's episode. Finally got another legendary Pokemon on the team. Uh, I will obviously cry if my next encounter over on Route 9 is going to be like a Gen 3 legendary. 
is I'm going to kick myself and think, man, should have saved the Master Ball. But, um, yeah. Honestly, a pretty good episode. We finally made it to Obuzan City. Like I said earlier, got another Legendary to add to the squad. And we're looking pretty good. In between episodes, I'm obviously going to do a lot of off-camera grinding over on Route 8 there, where we just came from. Just so obviously I can get the team up to par. Uh, I'll probably, I'll try to save Matang's evolution for on-camera just so we can finally see Metagross pop up. But yeah, obviously if you liked what you've seen in today's video, make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below your thoughts on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. And like once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Peace.